Hi friends and family, it's Mary Lynn again, and I'm here with an announcement that most of you guys know. Um, unfortunately, this year, March 6th, 2020, um, my cancer came back. Um, this time it's terminal, and the only thing the doctors say they can do for me at this point is to give me chemo, which will prolong my life, but not save it. Um, you know, it was strange going through it last time, and I got through it, but my instincts told me that I wasn't done, and unfortunately my instincts were correct. So I wanted to share on here because I really want to document this experience for however much time I have left. Um, the doctors told me I have anywhere from six months to a year and a half. Uh, with the chemo um, and as you guys know I mean it's already October and um, I'm still here so and I feel good I feel good um, so you never know the doctors say that they don't have a crystal ball I don't have a crystal ball all I have is my family and my faith that's what I've got family and faith and that's how I'm going to get through this situation. Whatever the end looks like, I know that I'll have those two things. And what more can you ask for? You know? Um, as I said, I really wanted to share my experience, particularly knowing that it is terminal, however long that takes. Um, the doctors say that even if this area gets better, this area of cancer, and it is cervical cancer. I'm sure I, I had cervical cancer before, and it is the same cervical cancer, um, but it is officially called uh, recurrent uh, cervical cancer that has metastasized to my lymph nodes, surrounding lymph nodes. Um, so unfortunately, it is in the lymph system, which is too bad but um, it's okay so I'm strong and I'm the strongest person I know and I I want to use this time that I have left with grace like I just I want to I want to be smiling all the way until the end whatever that takes. That's what I want to do. I want to smile through it, even through the tears, and I want to be smiling at the end. Um, now, COVID has made this extremely difficult. Um, COVID has been difficult on everybody, yes, no doubt. But when you get cancer and <laughs> you're in the middle of COVID quarantines and all you want to do is go to freaking Thailand and you can't get on the plane, let me tell you, you're this close from losing it all the time. All I want to do is this bucket list of things and I can't do them and it's so frustrating and when your life is limited, for whatever reason and you know that and then you spend every day at home it's hard to focus on the positive it's hard to remember that any day that you're living and breathing and with people you love is a good day um, but it's hard to remember that it's really hard all I want to do is get the out of here and I can't you know um, 
I'm fortunate that I was able to go to like Las Vegas a couple times um, but there's no shows open in Vegas and that's the only reason I like Vegas is the shows um, I'm not a gambler so both times I didn't get to see any shows or anything I don't know I'm just like praying every day that I can get out of here Ooh, super hard and unfortunately because of being stuck in my hometown all the time most of the time it started to cause some depression and anxiety and I'm just like struggling you know I mean everybody that's dealing with COVID quarantine is struggling but I'm I'm really having a hard time and I have had depression before and I have had little bouts of anxiety before but there's just this pressure you feel when your time is limited a pressure to make the days count to not waste a moment and when you're sitting on a couch watching Dancing with the Stars coloring in a coloring book you just think is this really the best use of my time I'm not so sure um, it's lightweight killing me like it's lightweight killing me I have like all these dreams of places I want to go and I'm here and I have to try to make the best of that and it's not easy um, I have chemo once every three weeks which is really good for a traveling schedule because it means I have two and a half weeks to go wherever I want and get back in time for a quick session and then I can get out of there again so technically my chemo is timed perfectly if only the world will cooperate you know i need i need our borders open i need airplanes to be running the way they used to and none of that is in my control not one single thing the only thing i have control of is me and my reactions to this situation, my response to the situation, however difficult it may be, and I can't say I'm, I'm doing it perfectly. <laughs> I can't say I'm getting an A+, plus, but I'm trying, and I feel like the end of the day that's all you can do right just try again so I forgot I wanted to show everybody my port um, and a lot of people have seen ports before so this is this is the surgical um, incision uh, where they cut open and then inserted this circular portion and you can see it has three um, dots on it and right in the middle of those three dots is where they insert the chemo needle um, every time I have treatment and then there's also like a catheter that goes up and into I believe it's the carotid um, vein up here and uh, then goes down and basically directly into my heart so whenever I'm receiving the medication, the chemo, um, that is how it's administered. Last time I used veins in my arms, uh, but this time I opted for uh, the port because it was going to be easier. Um, if you guys are interested in the port, like I can go into it more, but um, I had had some initial reservations because 
of it being so visible. Um, particularly as I've lost weight, it's really started to poke out. It's really, really, really visible. And um, that was why I didn't want it in the first place. That's why I didn't want it last time. But it has made it a lot easier for treatment. And guess what? I realized I don't care. I really don't care. I wish it didn't hurt so much because it's very tender and it hurts like all the time. But other than that, it does make getting the chemo simpler and faster. Last time it used to take them like half an hour to find a vein. And now there's no searching of veins whatsoever. It's just one poke. Done.